Um, thanks. Thank you very much for that really exciting speech. I was going to ask you that one of the issues you're talking about is to establish world pop and have this universal idea or universal music that everyone understands. Yeah. But do you think that maybe that will come at a price of defacing the unique identity of certain types of music? For example, yeah. with Sai, yeah. one of the yeah. arguments has been that he has basically um, given the world American pop or pop music, but just yeah. in a Korean language. Yeah, you know. So, so the where 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 is the Asian side of that? You know, where is the actual identity coming Thank from? It? I think there are. It, it, that's a very deep question, and I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, I think the the world pop culture is something that is constantly in flux. And it's hard to just pinpoint, oh, that is Korean and that is Chinese. You know? um, I, I, I do kind of see what, what Psy did or what K-pop does, something similar to kind of like what Chinese filmmakers did with Gong Fu, you know, to do something that everybody, like to, to really, to kind of like package it in a way that is very uh, consistent and coherent and that people can all understand, you know, the dance moves and it's a, it's a universal language. So my hopes for world pop are that it can be this kaleidoscope, that it can be, you know, all the colors of the rainbow. So you know, that's, that's what artists do. Some of them, I think there's, you'll get every color and every sound in there. I just hope that people do it in a, uh, adventurous and open-minded way.